Let's get you up to speed now this morning on the stories you need to know. Leaders in Congress and the White House are once again talking about more money to try to stimulate the economy. This following concerns that the $2.2 trillion stimulus package passed late last month just won't be enough. Now, this second round could include another trillion dollars in spending. That money could offer a second round of payments to Americans. The COVID-19 pandemic is battering Arizona workers. The state is now reporting a record nearly 130,000 workers filed for jobless benefits last week. Now, over the last three weeks, nearly a quarter a million Arizonans who've lost their jobs filed first time complaint claims. Arizona Attorney General Mark Brnovich has issued a cease and desist letter to a Phoenix pot dispensary over the coronavirus. The AG's office making the move after a Phoenix based dispensary claimed to have treatment and a cure for COVID-19. The Yilo Superstore Dispensary claimed to offer a coronavirus immunization stabilizer tincture. As of now, there is no FDA approved vaccine or anything else to immunize, prevent or cure the virus. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who has been diagnosed with coronavirus, has been moved to intensive care at a London hospital. Johnson was admitted over the weekend with a persistent high fever. The 55 year old is the first leader of a major power to announce testing positive. You're now up to speed. Don't forget, you can always find the latest news on our website, 12news.com or the free 12 News app.